Hi there and welcome to Start of Central. I'm Nantara Rai. This is the only show of its kind in Indian television dedicated, of course, to startups, innovation, technology, disruption. Basically, if it falls under the gambit of the new economy, it's going to be here on your favorite channel every weekday at sharp 6 p.m. Like all the stakeholders of the community that we get on the show, the team that puts the show together, the Start of Central team, thrives on constructive criticism. So keep writing in to us so we can take the show to the next level. Our email address right on top, suc at etnow.tv. Well, here's an ET Now exclusive. We had told you earlier how in early April, around the 8th of April, the House of Tatas would get ready to launch the super app Tata Neo that we've been hearing so much about. Well, here's a confirmation. We now understand that app is going to be available for the public to download come 7th of April. And on the 6th, a press conference will be called. The press conference will 100% be addressed by, you know, the Tata Digital team, including CEO, startup veteran Mukesh Bansal, who's been roped in on the board. Uh, and of course, the Tatas have invested in his startup CureFit. But we've not been able to confirm as yet if N. Chandrasekharan will be chairing that press conference. What we do know is that he's personally very involved in overseeing the go-to-market strategy for this super app called Tata Neo, where you will be able to buy all of the Tata goods and services on one platform, the Tata Neo. So whether it's Trent, or my clothes from Trent, whether it is, um, you know, when we eat from Indian hotels, whether you want to uh, monetize your Taj Group hotel points, whether you want to buy electronics from Chroma, or you want to buy a watch from Titan, all of that you can do on the Super App. You'll also be able to pay utility bills, um, whether it's for your Tata Sky DTH, whether it's to get a loan, whether it is to pay electricity, water, all of that is going to be possible. The Tatas will also try to pioneer a never-seen-before loyalty program, which will cut across brands, it'll cut across categories. It'll be housed in one location on the app. It's going to be called the Tata Neo Coin. One coin will equal one rupee. And this is where the Tatas are seeing a lot of advantages. So let's say you were a member of the Taj group of hotels. You had COVID-19. You've not done so many staycations. You've not been going out. You're sitting on a whole host of points. Those points will be as good as cash. They can be converted on the super app. So there's um, a lot of excitement about it. And remember, ahead of this, you've seen the Tatas pick up stake in Big, ba about Big Basket. They've got F1MG, uh, CureFit. I was just telling you about all of that is also going to be integrated very much on this app. Now, just before this, we were also able to interview the Big Basket co-founder, Hari Menon. Uh, and I did ask him, Big Basket, which has also thrown its hat in the ring for quick deliveries of 10 to 20 minutes, uh, how will life change post the Tata's super app? Will there be now a Big Basket app still, or will we have to go on the Tata super app? Um, how will it all work? Here's that conversation. All it means is more business, more customers, newer customers coming in. And you'll see some very aggressive marketing, uh, you know, that's that's going to happen from Tata New. So it's just going to get us uh, a lot more new customers, which is which we are very happy about. So as you will fold under uh, the Tata New app, Mr. Menon, I've got to ask you this question, right? There's going to be quick commerces there, and why will it only be for Big Basket? I would imagine it could also be, let's say, for medicines and uh, one MG. Just guessing. Uh, I mean, there you definitely do need uh, timing to be so crucial. Um, can you give us an idea of how all of this is going to fold up and how it's going to happen and be rolled out? Uh, yeah. So, so essentially, uh, you know. I think most categories will will have uh, you know quick commerce there, and everything that we are building from a supply chain side, you know, um, we will uh, we will be offering all of that to all the other companies that are going to participate uh, in the whole Tata New Stack. Uh, so that is One MG, Chroma, you know, whole lot of companies that are actually also going to move um, to deliver medicines faster, to deliver accessories faster, to deliver parts of curated electronics categories faster. So we are all working together to see how we can um, you know. Um, add value to the entire supply chain so that we have fast deliveries available across cat categories. Fair point. So there will be one Tata Neo app and a Big Basket will continue to operate as a standalone app? Yes, of course. Big Basket will continue to operate as a standalone app. Big Basket will also be available through Tata Neo. So customers have a choice to come to Big Basket or to go to Tata New because in Tata New you will have 
uh, whole, whole range of, uh, of, of, of categories, whole range of products. So other than groceries, you can also go and buy many other things there and, uh, and shop for many other things. So, so it's, it's, it's customer's choice and customer decides what, what they want to do. They'll see exactly what BB is on Taranyu, uh, just the way BB is on BB. So there is no, absolutely no difference. So it's, it's, it's for customers to basically decide what they want to do. Mr. Menon, uh, new coins and royalty program. There's so much is being spoken about that one Tata new coin will equal one rupee. Cut across brands, cut across categories. A never seen before rewards program. It's part of the press release as well. That could be uh, different from the B uh, Big Basket standalone app and the Tata Neo app. Yeah. So yeah. So so reward points, loyalty points. These are all reasons that customers will will start using Tata New, right? So so as I said, it's completely left to the customer, and customer will get a lot of benefits on Tata New. They'll get loyalty points. They'll get points from wherever they shop. They can redeem points on multiple other categories. They can buy many other things that they that we can buy. Uh, you know, along with grocery, you will see as Tata New go. You know. Uh, keeps going along. You will see a lot of cross-category promotions that you know that will happen, um, and so and so. There's a lot of benefit, a lot of advantage for customers to go and come into Big Basket through Tata New. Uh, and as I said, both will exist, right? Uh, finally, it's customer who decides what they want to do, and I'm, I'm sure they'll see a lot of benefit of coming into Big Basket through Tata New itself. On first of April, India's space startup called Pixel announced that it has undertaken. A full first satellite commercial flight is called uh, Shakuntla and with Elon Musk SpaceX. That's right. That's exactly what happened. It's not an April Fool's joke. It is indeed reality. And joining me is the co-founder of who's joining us right here on ET Now. A big day for you folks on 1st of April with Elon Musk uh, SpaceX. I've already told our viewers there's no April Fool's joke. Tell us more about this uh, satellite, which is called Shakuntla, which has gone into space uh, as part of a SpaceX program. Hey, thanks for having us here, Nantara. So I think, you know, the launch on April 1st is a new chapter, not only for us here at Pixel, it's also a new chapter for the space tech ecosystem in the country. Uh, we have grown up looking at the heroics of what ISRO has done over the past few decades. But um, given that we want to be on the global stage now, the private participation and in the industry also has to come up. And that's where I think uh, Shakuntala's launch becomes important. It's our first fully fledged satellite that launched to space at Pixel, but it's also the first commercial Earth imaging satellite that um, India has ever launched. And it's important not only because it's our satellite, it's also important because um, the data from this satellite will help solve a lot of problems at a national scale that we are seeing, whether that's uh, pest infestations in crops or low yield of crops or pollution levels in different cities in the country. So it's it's exciting. It's an exciting new journey for us, but it's only the beginning. A lot more launches and satellites to come, but uh, we're excited. We were able to play a small part in, uh, uh, in India's space tech journey. Now, you know, what is also being said a lot about India's space tech journey, and it, and it has been said since 2014-15, is how we are also trying to make uh, space exploration more affordable for India and for the others on this planet. So talking about that, tell us more about Shakuntla. So I think the, the satellite, you know, usually when we think of satellites, they take up an entire room, they cost, you know, tens of millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars or hundreds of crores, right? Um, and that's only been in the domains of what governments are able to do. Shakuntala, for example, the satellite that we launched is less than 15 kilograms in weight. Uh, it's literally the size of a mini refrigerator that you can carry in your hands, but it still packs much more information and data in it than a lot of bigger satellites do. This has been possible because of the you know, reduction in size of electronics, reduction in the launch prices that ISRO has also been able to do along with SpaceX. Um, so it's a combination of all these factors where the cost of manufacturing a satellite has become so low that um, you know we as young 20 year olds are able to do it as well and it 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 it's very similar to how the electronics industry was in the 1970s and 80s where you looked at apples and microsofts coming and trying to make computers very widespread we are at that same position here for space technology um, where it's a it's a young nascent industry but with costs coming down and with folks like us being able to build satellites that you can literally hold in your hands uh, and then launch uh, with a rocket that's the size of a skyscraper, uh, which is the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. So um, Shakuntala is the first of our satellites that will have what you call a hyperspectral camera, 
that enables us to see things in a lot more detail than what has been possible almost a 50 times increase in information so that's about shakuntala and uh, what we're trying to do and uh, you know i'm sure a lot of our viewers will want to know this um especially if they are also in space tech and just because of the personality that we're talking about how did your startup get in touch with spacex how did this all happen I think it's uh, the journey has come full circle for us. So um, a <laughs> few years ago in 2017, I was leading the engineering for this team called Hyperloop India. So when Elon Musk resurfaced the idea of the Hyperloop, uh, the new mode of transportation that you might have heard about where there's a vacuum tube and you have to build a Hyperloop pod or a vehicle that can travel at really, really fast speeds within that vacuum tube. Um, they had a competition that they had organized at their headquarters in Los Angeles. Um, and we had built India's first Hyperloop pod prototype. We took it all the way to uh, LA at their headquarters. And, you know, they took us on a tour of the SpaceX factory there. Um, so looking at those rocket engines being built, looking at the rockets that you could see being integrated, that's when it crystallized in my mind that, you know, I want to work in space technology for the rest of my life. And so when we were looking at, you know, launching our satellites, obviously one is that we would want to launch with ISRO because, you know, they're right here and we have one satellite already manifested on there. But for our second satellite, we just reached back out to the same contacts um, that were there when we were engaging with the Hyperloop competition. So it's come full circle. We, start, we started with the inspiration of starting Pixel there, and now our first satellite has launched on the SpaceX rocket. Okay, and so you've gone from what, the Richard Branson camp to the Elon Musk camp? <laughs> no, I think before uh, Richard Branson started with Virgin Hyperloop, you know, Elon <laughs> Musk was the one who resurfaced the idea. Um, so yeah, we we started with Elon SpaceX and we you know ended up with Elon and SpaceX. Have you ever met him? I did meet him uh, during the competition. Shook hands with him, have a selfie as well. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, after that, he's become a very busy man. So not after that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's also, the, I'm sure, yes, he is very, 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 very busy unless you can impress him on Twitter, right? Then you might even get a comment from him. Okay, before we let you go, now this is a government which has, you know, been making a lot of noise when it comes to space exploration. I think the Prime Minister's messaging is also very clear. Um, going forward, um, with Shakuntla now in space, what is it that your startup is busy with? Uh, and I know it's early days, it just happened in 1st of April, uh, but, you know, it's been four days. What's the feedback? How's it going? Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the team, the, the launch happened at around 11 p.m. our time here and the, the team didn't sleep till 6 a.m. waiting for uh, the passes from the satellite. But we're happy to say that all the deployments that need to happen in space have happened. We have communicated with the satellite. The health is looking good. Um, so Shekuntala is uh, all well and up there in orbit, ready to beam down images. So that's that's on that. Going ahead, this is, as I said, just the first step in a thousand step journey. Uh, we are currently manufacturing six more satellites that will launch early next year. In early, uh, but we also have our uh, satellite Anand that is manifested to go on an ISRO rocket in the coming few months. Um, so in the coming few months, we'll do one more launch with ISRO and then six more satellites will go up early next year. Beyond that, we are planning on, you know, at least 30 more satellites to keep on adding to the capability. But um, as of now, yes, it's it's keep our heads down, build more satellites, send them up there, get this imagery down and use it for making the world a better place. And this is all indigenous? Uh, the designing of the satellites, the manufacturing, the integration of it all happens uh, in India. Yes, it happens at our facility in Bangalore where I'm sitting at. Uh, we do leverage a lot of uh, the ecosystem here, including testing at the ISRO facilities, but um, not all of the manufacturing itself is indigenous because, say, solar panels come from Europe um, or batteries come from someplace else, but the designing and the integration of the satellite itself all happens at our facilities here in Bangalore. Okay, so there's uh, clearly a lot of excitement um, on ground and of course in space. Uh, here's wishing you and the entire team at Pixel all the very best.